hey, I wanted to share a little something with y'all. So I hopped out at this view area because I saw this beautiful reservoir down here. And I was wondering if there might be some way to get on one of those beaches and hang out for a while. And when I got out of the van and walked over here to the edge and I started looking, it hit me and I started laughing that uh, I've been here before. Now, yeah, I've looked off of this a million times uh, driving through on my tours, but uh, I, I was really here one time. Almost stayed here too. <laughs> it was time number two of two times that I almost froze to death. Uh, <laughs> it's funny looking back on it. At the time I was so stressed out I almost cried. I definitely prayed. Um, it was a dead of winter and I just played at the Sundance Film Festival just down the road here not too far over in uh, in Park City, Utah. And uh, I was looking for somewhere to camp out in the van and this was about all I could find. The roads were bad, it was snowy. Uh, we're up here, you know, this is high. Probably 8,000 feet or more. So it was cold. And uh, I pulled off here and I thought, oh, I'll just sleep here. There's trucks coming in and out just a little bit, but nothing uh, nothing too busy. I could, I could sleep here. So uh, I had the heat running in the van and everything was great. You know, I was comfortable. I'd, I'd done that a lot of times in all kinds of weather, hot, cold, and places all around this country. I sleep in the van a lot. Just before I settled off into a wonderful sleep, I was thinking, man, kind of got to take a piss. I got to piss, man. I Pretty bad. Enough that I'm not going to be able to sleep good if I don't. So I got out and uh, uh, I don't believe I put on any shoes. I definitely didn't have any pants on. I was in my underwear, no shirt. I might have had shoes on. I can't remember. It was cold as, cold as hell no matter what it was. No matter what little bit I was wearing. So I got out, I took my piss, and I've closed the doors on the van a million times. And unless you lock them, you open them again, it's no problem. This time when I went to open the door, it had locked itself. I don't know why, it's never done it again. And at first I'm like, oh, huh, this might be a problem. So of course, uh, I'm thinking all the doors are gonna be locked, but I gotta try them, right? So I run around the van, I try all the doors, they're all locked, sure as I thought they would be. Uh, of course, all the windows are up. And I'm just like, huh, this is a problem. At first I didn't panic, but it was in the back of my mind that I might freeze to death. So I, uh, I start thinking, all right, you're gonna have to break a window. You're gonna have to look for a rock. There's all kinds of rocks over here. But at the time they were under a couple feet of snow and I couldn't find one and there's no street lights. It was dark as it could be, and I was starting to get a little uh, worked up. And I thought, oh God, if I can't find a window. And I saw this uh, trash can right here, and uh, reached down for this rock I saw. Like, oh, thank God, I found a rock. And I got pretty good eyesight, and just before I grabbed the rock, I realized it was actually a pile of dog shit. And I looked up at the sky, and I thought, God is fucking with me. God is fucking with me. Now I'm going to freeze to death. By this point, I'm getting pretty freaked out. So, uh, I couldn't find a rock. And I uh, tried breaking the windows. Tried, like, elbowing them, kicking them. No, man. It ain't like the cop movies. Windows are a little tougher to break. Uh, especially with nothing, you know, to get your pressure in one area. I didn't even have a knife or nothing. I mean, I was in my underwear. By this point, I'm starting to get really, really cold. It's probably been, I don't know, five, six minutes since I left the vehicle. And then I remembered I've got a military folding shovel in the top roof rack of this van. So I jump out, climb up on there, and uh, I find this, I find it. And I'm thinking, hell yeah. I rear back, I swing for the window, and it just bounces off. I try four or five times. I'm just thinking, oh God. By this point, I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. I'm like, I'm gonna freeze to death. Uh, I'm thinking maybe if uh, nothing else, I could run down over here and maybe wave somebody down off this distant highway. That's way over there. And it was the middle of the night. And this is kind of in the middle of nowhere. 
Eventually, I went to the back window and this van had windows that didn't quite sit flush with the van. I was able to pry the end of the uh, military folding shovel in there and pull back and break that window. It was just big enough for me to climb in. By the time I got in, I was so cold it was hurt and bad. And uh, I put a piece of cardboard over the window and slept. And then I uh, got up in the morning and went and played at a ski resort. That's Tom Bennett, Stories from the Road.